Hello, here we are to talk about JavaScript again. Um, you know, I had a question on the YouTube channel asking about, you know, problems like where the shopping cart thing wasn't working. And uh, so I thought what I'd do is I'd, I'd just do an example where, you know, I, I, I actually introduce some problems and some errors in the file, and then I'm going to go through and try and fix them, right? So, uh, you know, I did this earlier in the day. I added a bunch of problems and, you know, made some mistakes and I kind of remember some of them but I don't remember what they all were so I'll just you know go about and try and find them right now um, so so here I am and I've got I'm starting from the point where I've got my my main HTML file and the shopping cart JavaScript is in this other file called shopping cart JS okay so um, here's my file I'll save it and we'll we'll go to the uh, to the browser and I'll refresh, and here's my cart, and everything appears to be working here. And then I'll add something to the cart, and that kind of worked, but now I've got a NAN here. So I clicked on Apple, and then all of a sudden Apple, you know, the price came out as NAN, right? So what is going on there, right? Okay, so let's try and figure it out. Um, so I click this link here. So, we, you know, we can check that link. Um, clicking this link is also going to call a function via jQuery, right? So we have a click action there, right? And so we, sh we can check that function. And then that function, in turn, calls the add to cart method in shopping cart. So let's, let's go identify those things. So here's my link here for Apple, right? And, uh, you know, there's something wrong with the price. So what I want to do is I want to look at the price here and make sure that we've got a price that can be passed along. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, I don't really see any problem there. Maybe there's a problem. I don't know, right? How are we going to test it? Well, let's go down here. Now, remember these links here where it says, you know, class add to cart, right? This is the thing that, that jQuery looks for to create you know, the action, right? So when we actually click that link, something's going to happen, and that's going to happen here in Add to Cart. So <clears throat> in order for the for that Apple item to be added to the cart, we need to um, collect the name of the product and the price of the product and then pass them along to Shopping Cart Add Item to Cart. Okay, so this is the variable name and this is the variable price, and we're going to add one Apple to the cart or, you know, one of any product, right? But we're just worried about the Apple link right now. And so here's the name and the price. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the name and the price are correct, right? Because if I'm if for some reason I'm not getting the value from the link, right, from the attribute, okay, the price attribute and the, the name attribute, then, you know, I'm going to have a problem. So let's say console dot log and then let's say you know um, uh, let's just put a note in here so we'll say click add to cart colon and then we'll do plus name plus and then we'll put a space plus price okay so there we go so you know if it you know when we click on the link it should say apple you know dollar 22 or whatever the price was Okay, so that's our first step, and uh, let's go test that with the with the console. So I'll refresh this, and everything kind of looks okay. The price came out as zero now, um, and I'll click the Apple link. And then what I get here is click Add to Cart. So I'm, the name is coming out okay as Apple, but the uh, the price is showing up as NAN. Right, that stands for not a number. Okay, so we're not getting the price. Let's go check. So we'll take a look here, and you know, you know, essentially this is coming out as not a number. So you know, the the problem is here, you know, and either you know, um, the 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 attribute value here is not getting the right attribute, right, or the attribute in the link is not correct. And so you know, if we double check that you can see that we've got data price here and it does have a value but you know if we look at it closely you know below 
I can see that this just says price. It doesn't say data price, right? So the, the attribute name was wrong. Okay, so, so now we can fix that. You know, I had a spelling error, and, you know, most of the errors that we make are spelling errors. Like, we usually know what we want to do or have a pretty good idea, but if we have, like, a really, you know, good error, it's usually because we, you know, left a comma out or let, misspelled a name, right? So, uh, so there we go. So we'll save that. And then I'll go back here and refresh it, and then I'll add the apple to the cart. It says click add to cart, and now I've got, you know, apple is, um, what is it here? It's like 1 and 22 cents, right? So that's actually right. You know, I got the right value there. Now this is a little funny. Like, why does it say, you know, 149? Um, oh, for some reason, like, the the number of items in the apple is 1.22 when it should just be one. Not sure why that happened. We're gonna have to look into that, right? Let's refresh it now. Maybe let's clear that one because it could there could be some data left over from the error in our, you know, in our, our you know, um, save data, right? Because we're saving that to the, to the local storage. So, so let's just delete the whole apple and add a new one. Oh. So it says price not defined, right? So we got some problem here now. And so now I'm wondering like, where is price coming from? Like, or, you know, why is it not getting the right value? So let's look here. It says shoppingcart.js line 21. So we're getting an uncaught reference error. That means that we created a variable or a function or something, or we're talking about a variable or function that where we never defined it. We never gave it a value. Okay, so we put a name in there, an identifier, and we haven't ever said that identifier equals some value. So, uh, and we can see right here, you know, uh, the console's telling me clearly that this is on line 21 of Shopping Cart JS. So we need to go identify that line. So I'll head over to Shopping Cart JS, and then we'll get to uh, line 21 here. And then it, what does it say? It says this dot name price and count so wait let's go back there so it said something about price like it doesn't like price right so where did price come from so here we're making new you know this dot item so we're making a new instance of the item and we need to pass it these three values and these values have to come into this function somewhere right so, you know, if we recall, when we call add to cart, we pass um, name, price, and count, and, and actually the price is missing here, and we can just double check that because over here, where we, you know, where we're calling on add item to cart, we've got name, price, and count, right? This is the count value. These are variables because we're getting their values up here, but, you know, essentially, like, this could have been, you know, any name, right? you know, right? So we're passing a string there, and then we're passing the number value for the price. So somehow this price went missing here, right? So we'll type it in there. Um, and you know, this could have happened too if you, you know, if you misspelled this, you know, and actually it could have happened if you did that. This, this has the same spelling, but since it's an uppercase P, the lowercase p counts as a different spelling. So these are two separate names in JavaScript. So anyway, so we'll, we'll fix that. We'll put the name in here. And then I think I made a couple more errors. Let's let's save that. So I'll refresh, and uh, so that looks okay. Let's add the apple. Oh, so the apple showed up, but the count is missing now, okay? Maybe I made a few too many errors here, but let's go through and try and figure them out. Let's refresh that, and we'll type a number in here. Oh, that actually worked. But somehow the original count did not go in there. So these are working. Let's delete it and start over again, right? Yeah, so for some reason, the first time we put an item in there, the count isn't showing up. But if we update the count by typing a value in here, then we're okay, right? So let's go identify that. So when we, when we call on the item here, right, we're going to start at, so I'm just going to follow the whole action through my program. So we're going to start here, and we're going to add a new item to the shopping cart, and it should be one. So this is the count, and there should be one in there when we add it. Okay, 
So we'll go to shopping cart JS and we'll go here and we've got, you know, name, price, and count. So count should be one, right? And uh, and then we should say like, okay, if we find the item in this dot cart, we should find that if it equals this name, then we're going to add that, you know, we're going to set the count of that item by adding the new count value to it and then save the cart and then finish this function here at return. And if, if the item is new, and that's actually what the case is in our case here, right? So, you know, if there's no apples in the cart and then we add one the first time, that's when the problem appears, right? So, so that's going to happen, you know, here we're not finding the apple in the cart, so we, we add the cart down here, right? So something is wrong, you know, in this zone, right? So, so here we're adding a new item to, to a new item or creating a new item, right? And we're passing it the name, the price, and the count. So, you know, we could test the name, price, and count here and make sure that, you know, count was not getting lost. It looks like it's got the right value. Let's say console.log, and then we'll, we'll say, you know, add item to cart right here, plus, um, maybe I'll just make this the same spelling as the function just to kind of remind us that we're, we're getting this console message here. So I'll put this here and then I'll say, you know, um, actually, you know what you can do with these is you can actually just put a comma there if you don't want to use all the, um, you know, uh, concatenate all the, all the strings, right? So I'll just do it this way and then we'll test again, right? So I'll save that go back here, refresh it. Let me just delete that from the cart and do it again. Oh, so I got Apple 122 and 1, so that's correct, right? So the next thing that happens is we create the new item here. Okay, so let's go investigate this. Maybe when we pass the count in here, there's a problem. So we'll go up to shopping cart item, and here we've got name, price, and count. And then we've got, we're setting this dot name, this dot price, right? But then I've just got count equals count. But actually, you know, this needs to be, you know, this dot count, right? Because otherwise count is not a part of item, right? So no wonder it's NAN, right? Because we never set its value here. You know, this, you know, this count is not the same one. This, this variable is the one that came in here when we put this dot, then it's the variable that belongs to the new instance of this of this object, right? So, so this needs to have a this in front of it or it's not going to work. So let's save that and refresh this here. Let's delete that item there. Um, yeah, it's important, like if we have, you know, information input into our cart array that we deleted if it has an error in it, because, you know what I mean? Like if we, if we fix the script, and that error or the wrong value is, is in there, you know, it'll continue to cause problems. So let's delete it and kind of start fresh again, you know, to make sure the new stuff is working correctly. So we'll delete that and uh, click here. Oh, well, that looked pretty good. So we got one of these. I'll click the plus button, minus button. So that seems to be working. I'm getting, you know, 22 items here because that's four plus 18. That looks good. I'm going to guess that that's the right price. Well, I can delete it can add another one, right? So that looks good. I can see my console log messages in here showing me, you know, I clicked the, the click add to cart link and then I got to the add to cart function, right? So I'm getting all the values are getting passed along. Let's try some of these other links. Oh, so I click on banana here and banana has a problem. Both the, the price and the count are not correct. And if I look down here, you can see it says click add to cart banana, but then the price value here is nan and then when i get here it's nan again right so let's go check that right so why why is that happening so that's happening over here because that's where that you know click add to cart message came in right you know so like this is click add to cart and price is nan right so that you know that's not right there so when I, you know, this right here is not correct. So somewhere, you know, here I have a problem, but it, it worked for Apple, right? So, so probably like we're getting a problem when the price is coming in from this, this attribute. Let's go check that attribute up above. Oh, so look at here. What do we got? Oh, I got, you know, data 
price, but I, I forgot the E on the end. So let's type the E in there and save, right? Then we'll, we'll test again. And then we'll refresh. And oh, this says null, right? But we made a mistake and there's an entry for apple or banana that is not correct. So we'll need to delete that and then try it again for it to you know even function correctly with the changes right so so that seems to work I can add these guys and subtract and delete it and add it again and these guys all are working there so I think I fixed all the problems you know but anyway you know I hope that kind of maybe points out like how you might debug some of your issues like I get a lot of mileage out of the console like I really like to print values into the console and actually see you know what the the current value for something is and that really helps me visualize what's happening you know inside the program right so anyway so you can try that on your own and post your questions to the comments and i hope that is helpful to anybody thanks